In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Create to cut and score in one session. So you would think that if you set up your pressure to cut and your score pressure to score, um, you know, setting your layers in your style panel to score and to cut, that that would work. But it doesn't. Reason being, the machine doesn't stop, so you can change from your scoring blade or tool to your cutting blade. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up so the machine will stop so you can switch out your tools. All right, so I have a box template here, and I'm using uh, my document page is 12 by 19 to represent the solo mat. First thing I want to do is move it down here because my blade is going to go right here or my scoring tool, okay? And then I want to come to my layers panel and my score lines, if I open this up, you can see that it's each individual score line that has been grouped. Uh, the first thing I want to do is give that a color, okay? Uh, most score lines that come in are going to be a stroke color but we need to have it have a color all right and then for that same layer I'm going to come here and I'm going to change it to score okay and then in the layers panel again I'm going to choose this layer in the style panel I want that to cut and a lot of people don't understand that Every layer has to be assigned what you want it to do. Cut, draw, score, print plus cut, put, print, or print plus cut, cut. Okay, um, that's for every layer that you have here. Otherwise, you know, your machine doesn't know what to do. If it's supposed to print, but you have it set to cut, it's going to cut. Okay, if you want it to print, you need to change it to print. All right. So now that we've got that done, um, this layer is cut and this layer is score, then I'm going to come to create. And what we're going to do is set a couple of custom cut presets, one for score and one for cut for 65 pound cardstock. So I'm going to leave it in WYSIWYG mode, which, which is what you see is what you get. I'm going to have this checked so that I use these settings. If it's unchecked, it use the settings that are set in your machine under force and speed. Okay, so make sure that that's checked. We're in WYSIWYG. This is set to cut. This is on custom cut preset. Uh, the blade um, is fine. And then multi-cut is off. And for my pressure to cut, uh, 65 pound cardstock is 33 on my machine. Yours may be different. Do your tests, okay? And then I can click on this plus sign and I can name this 65 pound card cut. I missed the C, 65 pound card cut, okay? And if I wanted to, I could turn this score pressure off here. You don't need to, but you can, okay? So I'll just go ahead and leave it checked. All right, so then we're going to make another custom cut preset. And we're going to leave these two and this the same. Uh, the blade offset, what we're going to do is do a custom cut preset. And we're going to do score zero and zero. So I already have one. Let me go ahead and um, get rid of that. And then I'm going to do the custom cut preset at zero offset and zero overcut. Okay. And then uh, for my score, I need it to score twice. And I need my score pressure set at 75. And then I can come back up here to custom cut preset and name this uh, 65 pound score or 65 pound card 
score. Okay. And then click OK. All right. I forgot to save that preset for the holder. So I'm going to make sure that my uh, blade offset and my overcut is zero. And then I'm going to come to holder and custom cut preset. And I'm going to add this for score. <clears throat> and then I'll just put a uh, zero zero so that I know um, that I need to choose that whenever I score so that I don't have the offset or overcut set. Okay, two times at 75 is my score pressure and everything is the same. Um, I just had forgot to save that. Then what we can do is come to cut by color. And the reason we gave our score lines a color and not just a stroke is so that we can cut by color. Uh, if you do separate jobs, there's um, three different settings here. If you do separate jobs, then pull this left click and drag this score up to the top because you want it to scup, sorry, score before it cuts. And uh, so it will score and then the machine is gonna stop. So you can change out to your blade, okay? And like I showed you earlier, if you just are in general and cut and set your pressure and your score, your machine's not gonna stop. So you can change out your tool. Cut by color, it will. So that was the purpose of making sure that your score lines have a color, okay? And then I can go to create and make sure this says 65 pound card store score. I cannot speak tonight, sorry. And then click on cut and it's going to go ahead and score. And then what you're going to do is change this to 65 pound card cut and then you know I know that this is supposed to be off and this is 33 so when it is done scoring I'm going to change to my blade and then I can hit cut so as soon as it's done scoring and I've changed out my blade I'll be right back okay so then you just click on cut and then it will cut out um, around your design and then you are all done so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or you can find me in the Facebook group there's a link for that in the description of the video thanks for watching